Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on Strata Scratch regarding popularity percentage, both using Python as well as MySQL, and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium. The question has been asked in Meta or Facebook interviews, and it is a great question to solve if you are preparing for data engineer, data scientist, BI analyst, or data analyst roles. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, find the popularity percentage for each user on Meta Facebook. The popularity percentage is defined as the total number of friends the user has divided by the total number of users on the platform and then converted into a percentage by multiplying by 100. Output each user along with their popularity percentage order records in ascending order by user id the user one and user two column are pair of friends okay so basically we are given a data frame called facebook friends and our expected output is a pandas data frame actually it should be two column i think this is a typo because the question says output each user along with the popularity percentage right and here we only find the popularity percentage okay not not a problem uh, okay, so let's uh, inquire about this data frame Facebook friends. So basically it has two columns user one and user two and like these are the various pairs of friends you have. Okay, so to you know before doing this like let's understand a very simple concept right so let's let's uh, forget everything else and let's just say that uh, on a platform called facebook only you and i are connected as friends on the platform right so let's say my user id is a right so you know let me do this so uh, you are given a table called user one and user two right uh, let's say my user id is a and your user id is b right let's have only this for simplicity now i am a friend of yours and you are a friend of mine so if a if a table is given like this and let's say person asks like how many friends user one with id a has one right that is you uh, you know user id b and how many friends that user id b has one that is user id a right so to count that if i you know simply reverse these columns right so let's say i have another one where uh, i reverse so user 2 becomes user 1 and user 1 becomes user 2 because it does not matter right so i am a friend of yours or you are a friend of mine so if i store this as b and then b is also a friend of a right so b is a friend of a and now if i group by the user 1 right and count the user 2 part it will give me okay so a has one friend b has one friend right so now once we understand this simple concept we can apply this in this question right so it's very simple uh, to do this so we have a data frame called facebook friends right which has uh, information uh, like this right but we need to find out because what is popularity percentage for every user how many friends there are right and then divided by the total number of users there are right so let's let's uh, look at for user id or user id one right so user id one is friends with two then three right so two people three people four five right so five people and how many total people are there nine right so if you count uh, the user id so there are nine so five divided by nine is about 55 56 percentage right so to do this we can what we can do is just simply make another data frame let's say facebook friends 2 and just reverse the columns right and once we have that then what we can do is we can concat one over the other just like we did with a and b right and then group by user one and count the number of users on or, or count the number of values in user two and that is going to give you the number of friends right so what i'm saying is let's make another data frame facebook friends two right which is basically what facebook friends right so this is the same data frame just you know interchanged columns right so facebook friends where the first column is user two and the second column is user one right uh, let me just copy it here and let's see if we have it and we can you know even rename it to uh, uh, you know uh, avoid confusion so now you have user two and user one for, right so you have it so and what we can do is let's just rename it back because user one and user two they are just placeholders right it is just basically friend one friend two right so rename and what do we need to rename the name of the columns and we need to change it right so we need to change user 2 uh, the name of the column user 2 to user 1 
as well as user one to user two, right? So user one to user two, right? Uh, okay, let me run this. Let's we have this. Okay, so now you have it, right? So basically, user one, user two, you have the values, and you have another data frame, Facebook friends two, with basically the values being swapped, right? And now what you can do is you can just simply go ahead and concat it. right so what we can do is let's say there is a data frame df which is basically pandas dot concat right pandas dot concat the first uh, data frame is facebook friends right facebook friends and then second one is facebook friends 2 right uh, you concat it okay so let's see what we have now so run code and yeah so 2 1 and all that so up till now right so up till here from facebook friends and then uh, facebook friends too so once we have this then if we just you know go ahead and group by right so because like why will this work let's see right so we just uh, made sure that okay user id with user id 1 is basically a person which has five different friends so if i group by the user I, user 1 and count the number of values in user 2 let's see if one has five friends so here one so right so one so one people two people three people right and then four people five people right so if you look at it now you have user id 1 has five different friends right so you get you get the point right so if i just go ahead and write group by the user 1 part right so group by user 1 and then from user 2 just count the number of values right so user 2 dot count right you count the number of values and then simply since we group by user 1 it would be in the index so we need to reset index right so reset index and let me go ahead and run this so now you have user id 1 five friends right user id 2 three friends etc etc so it says user id user id 2 or user 2 because like in here we have that but we can you know if you want you can rename it if you don't that not, that does not matter right so once we have this then what we can do is let's store this in a data frame called popularity right so popularity is equal to this one and then let's make another column which has popularity percentage right so popularity a column column called popularity percent right so per popularity percent which is basically equal to what popularity right so you have the number of friends for each user divided by the total number of people right so popularity of user 2 right user 2 basically is what these these are uh, yeah, yeah don't get confused so these are the different users and this the values in this column column is basically total number of friends right and just to avoid confusion let 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 me you know just rename it right so rename columns is equal to let's change user 2 to, to number of friends right number of friends okay uh, let me just cut it right uh, let's see if we have it um run this okay yeah so user one and number of friends so now if i just paste it here and instead of here uh, let's write number of friends right number of friends and divided by the you know total number of people there are right so basically popularity right popularity column user one dot count right so that is the total number of people there are on the data frame or uh, on the facebook platform right so once we have this then if we look at okay what does this data frame now has popularity run it right so you have popularity percentage as decimal we need it uh, you know uh, multiplied by 100 right so what we can do is simply 100 Point zero multiplied by this one. Uh, let me run it again, right? So we have we have that, and we only need the user one and popularity percentage, right? So we just provide the list of uh, columns that we need. So user one, and then popularity or pop percent, right? Okay. Let me go ahead and run this. So now we have for each of the user IDs popularity 
percentage so i think this looks good let me go ahead and submit it so it passes all the test cases so yeah everything is green and this is how we do it again now let's see how the corresponding solution looks like in my sql okay so basically the same question writes a table is facebook friends expected output is same as well uh you different users and popularity percentage and facebook friends uh which also has same uh values right user one and user two so here also we can go ahead and do the same thing right so one thing is you know have these values as it is and then you know union it uh with the another one right so from facebook friends right so from facebook friends let's reverse the columns right so select user 2 and then user 1 let me go ahead and run this let's see what we have so now you have right so up till here you have values from this one facebook friends and then this is one two from the uh, switched part right so once you have this then what you can do is basically you know uh, save this in a common table expression so with ct as and then this entire thing goes into parentheses right and then what we can do is simply uh, from this common table expression let's group by right so let's group by the user one right user one and then return the user one and count the values in user two and alias this as number of friends right number of friends uh, let me go ahead and run this let's see what we have now uh, okay, so user one has five friends, user two has three friends, etc. etc. So once we have this, then what we need to do is uh let me you know store this in another common table expression right so cte2 as and then again this entire thing goes into parentheses right and then from this common table expression two what do we need to do is we need to return the number of friends right so number of friends divided by the total number of people there are right so basically the count of user one so return firstly for each user we need it right so return user one and then number of friends right so number of friends divided by return right so return count of user one from cte2 right so this is going to be the total number of people number of friends and then we need to multiply by 100.0 why we had multiply by 100.0 because of the problem with integer division which i have discussed in detail in a lot of my previous videos okay and let's alias this as whatever is required in our expected output so as popularity percentage right so as popularity percent right and then we also need to order this by user one in ascending order so order by user one let me go ahead and run this let's see what we have so now you have different users and their popularity percentage so i think this looks good let me go ahead and submit it as all the test cases so everything is green and this is how we do it so yeah it might seem difficult medium or hard difficulty but actually if you if you know about this you know this trick of you know how we can count the number of friends a person has if the information is given in a way like this then it becomes very you know very easy that you just need to group by count the number of friends and once you have that then you divide the number of friends by the total number of people there are on the platform and multiply by 100.0 to avoid integer division and you get the popularity percentage so this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video